वसुदेवसुदम देव गंसानोरमर्दनम देवगी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु The next sloka here starts the essence of the whole Gita. Natve vagam jatu nasam, natpam neme janati pa, nacayva na bavishyama, sarve vayamada param. Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you. nor all these things nor in the future shall any of us cease to be i think this is the this is the gist of the whole gita if you can understand this one sloka straight away you can become enlightened you will be able to enter into that eternal bliss krishna says there was never a time when i you and all of these things does not exist if you think that our souls will also die along with our bodies then you are wrong we were before our birth on this earth and we will remain even after death this is also not true that any of us will not be in the future in zen buddhism there is a beautiful meditation technique to achieve enlightenment you are asked to meditate on the face which you had before your birth you are asked to meditate on the face which you had before your birth then you will realize you exist in the past present and in the future your face may change your body may change but you continue to exist why then why we think we will die why the fear of death happens exactly what happens if what krishna says is truth that we were we are never bothered by the time we are there in the past we are here we will be there in the future why we are worried about our life why we are so much bothered about death let you first understand the concept of this time past present and future then you will be able to understand what krishna says i'll try to explain a small diagram of the concept of time the past present and future then you will be able to understand the concept of time and the atman is like a shaft continuously moving into the past this is future this is past continuously the future is moving into the past continuously future is becoming past every moment in every second future is becoming past where the future and the past meets that point is present this point is present
the future is continuously moving into the past where the future and the past meets this point is present now your mind your mind or your thoughts is nothing but movements between past and the future please understand you can't have any thoughts if you start thinking about the past or the future if you start if you stop worrying about the future and thinking about the past you will not be able to have even a single thought your thought is nothing but continuously moving from past to future past to future your thought is nothing but moving from past to future past to future past to future the more time you jump from past to future more number of thoughts the less you jump from past to future less number of thoughts the more you jump from here to here here to here you are having more number of thoughts your thoughts are nothing but your movement between past and the future just try to think think something about the present you can't even if you try to think you would have made that as a past only then you can think you can never think about the present either you will be worrying about the future or remembering the past nothing else can be done mind as such is nothing but the movements between the past and the future the more the frequency more you are grass for example if you are under thoughts per second Hundred TPS thoughts per <laughs> second means hundred time you jump from past to future, future to past, and if you have eighty TPS, eighty thoughts per second, eighty time you will be jumping from past to future and future to past. the more the frequency you will be more away from the present moment the more the number of thoughts you will be more away from the present moment if the number of thoughts reduces you will fall in the present moment if the number of thoughts if the frequency comes down you will fall in the present moment the more number of thoughts the more you jump between the past and the future the more you are away from the present you will not be around the present the more tps or the more frequency more you are away from the present moment more the frequency more your worries more your suffering and more your problems when you have when you are having high frequency you think you are body this area is called annamaya kosha annamaya when the frequency is little less this area is pranamaya pranamaya kosha if the frequency is 60 of course i am just saying as a proportion then manomaya kosha you come little subtle little near to the atman if you fall in the present moment you are in atman in this present moment you are in atman see past present and future all put together is eternal nitya atman this is what we call nitya or atman all three put together 
past, present and future, all three put together is Nitya or Atman. You can fall into the Atman only by falling into the present moment. Only when you come to the present moment, you can experience the Atman. But as and now, we are continuously jumping between past and the future, past and the future. The more the frequency, more you are stuck, more you are away from the Atman. The Upanishad says there are five layers. Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya Kosha, Vinyanamaya and Anandamaya. This is Vinyanamaya. Then, when you come to 20 dps, you go to Anandamaya. One more thing you need to understand. When the number of thoughts is less, you will not even know how time passes. A small example, when you sit with your close friend or whom you, whom you love, even if two, three hours passes, you will not know the time has passed. Suddenly you realize, oh, so many hours have passed. What happened? You forget everything because the number of thoughts is less. If you are sitting with somebody who is continuously boring you, with whom you don't feel comfortable, in every five minutes you will be seeing the watch. You will think, why the watch is not moving? Why the time is not moving? The time is more psychological. It is not chronological. That is why in our scriptures, in our Veda, we have a word Shana. Shana means, Shana does not mean a second. It means the gap between one thought and the other thought. So if your TPS, if your thought per second is less, you will be naturally in ecstasy, in bliss. If the number of thoughts is less, you will not even know how much of time has passed. Because you are in bliss. If the number of thoughts is more, you will be in hell. This is hell, this is heaven. <laughs> hell and heaven are nothing but number of thoughts, that's all. The more the frequency, you are in hell, caught in the physical layer, you think you are a body. When the number of thoughts comes down, you think you are a prana sarira. If it comes down, then you think you are a mind. When it comes down, you think you are an emotion. You are just emotion. When it comes down, you realize you are bliss. And when it becomes completely zero, you enter into the Atman, you realize you are there in the past, you, will, you are here in the present, you will be there in the future. Only a man whose TPS has become zero, he can experience what Krishna says, you will be there forever. The past, present, future, all three are only just words. You exist throughout. You exist throughout. But as and now, you are continuously jumping between past and the future. You are continuously jumping between past and the future. Your frequency is too much. You don't have that much of patience to know, to realize your source. You don't have that much of energy to understand who you are. What is your base? What is your nature? You are continuously jumping from past to the future, future to the past. If you can bring down your thought per second, if you can reduce the TPS, you will fall in the present moment. The moment you fall in the present moment, you will experience you were there in the past, you will be here in the present, you are here in the present and you will be here for ever in the future. This experience happens to you only when you fall in the present moment. 
Krishna says, you were there in the past, you are here in the present, you will be there in the future. You don't die. When he says, he means you are Nitya Atman, eternal consciousness. You are beyond your mind. But you know only this space of moving from past to future. That is why you are not able to believe that this space exists in you. If you can bring down the TPS, if you can reduce the number of thoughts, you will be able to experience you are this. <coughs> you are not just this. As on now, you are away from the present moment, means you are away from the eternal consciousness. You are away from the present moment. You are restless, moving from past to the future. So you are not able to see the truth of this Nitya Atman or the eternal consciousness. The more the TPS, the more you are away. From here, you can't see this clearly. If you come down, you will be able to see the, your nature more clearly. You will be able to experience your nature more deeply. Here, Krishna says, you are the eternal Atman. When he says, you are the eternal Atman, you are there in the past, you were there in the past, you are here in the present, you will be there in the future. He means you are beyond time. He means as a being, you are Atman. But as of now, you are caught in the mind between the past and the future. That is the reason. As of now, you are caught between the past and the future. That's the reason it will be difficult to believe what Krishna says. But a man who has fallen to the present moment, if you can bring yourself to the present moment, you will be able to experience what Krishna says, that you are the eternal consciousness. He says beautifully, there was never a time when I, you and all of these things does not exist. If you think that our souls will also die along with our bodies, then you are wrong. We were before our birth on this earth and we will remain even after our death. This is also not true that any of us will not be in the future means we will be in the future. There is nothing called death to our being. There is nothing called death to our consciousness. Whatever can die can never live. Whatever lives can never die. Here, your deep consciousness says that something is living in you. That quality you attribute with your body and mind. So don't attribute, don't misunderstand your qualities of consciousness with your qualities of body and mind. You are not just the body and mind. As long as you are caught in the past and the future, you will be thinking you are body and mind. The moment you come down, to the present moment, you experience you are beyond body and beyond 